Hello children, how are you all? Okay, I hope you all are really perfectly alright. Okay, in this video we are going to start another, a new lesson of your syllabus that is plant life. Okay, so life means what living things have the life. If the things have the life, then we call them as a living things. So already we have learned about the animals and the other things in the previous classes. In this class, we are going to write, uh, uh, learn the uh, purely about the plant life. Life means always it will start from the reproduction. Isn't it? Then what is this reproduction? Reproduction means when the animals are going to generate or give birth to the young ones which is uh, are almost same like the parents isn't it so uh, how does the reproduction takes place in the plants then even um, uh, plants life means there should be a reproduction in the plant also isn't it how the animals are giving birth to the baby that may be any animals that may be human being and that may be other animals like dog cat rat and the tiger and the lion horse donkey monkey and the birds these all will go for reproduction reproduction means they will give birth to the young ones isn't it then how do the plants are going to birth give birth to the young ones then see in a reproduction part how does the plants are going to give birth to the young plant or another plant how it is going to produce that is by with the help of seed with the help of seed reproduction even plants are also going to give birth to the next uh, small plant small sibling but with the help of the seed Okay, then we already know that what is seed, how we are going to get the seed. See, if we eat any fruit, we will get the seeds from them. Isn't it? And even we are eating the chapati, roti, these all things. Those all have come from the seeds of the plant. Then this seed, how it is going to grow? We will learn the steps now. Once uh, we have come to know that now the plant life will begin from reproduction. Then for the reproduction in plants we need the seed. Then when the seeds are going to sown in the soil. Isn't it? To grow the plants we cannot keep the seeds in the fridge or somewhere in the almar. We have to keep them and we are, if we are going to lock them. It is not at all possible to for, go for the reproduction of the seeds. Then for seed we have to go for first step. We have to go for the sowing. Isn't it? Then once the sowing is over, we have to give some amount of water. And then we have to keep that seeds or sown seeds in the presence of sunlight. Then after some time or after some day, we can see that it will go first into seedling. Seedling means from the seed, it is going to, from the seed, there will be a small white color plant will begin to start. For that one we call as a seedling. White color small sprouted like uh, uh, structure will come out from the uh, between part of the seed. That one we call as a seedling. It will take place within some weeks. Okay, within a few weeks or within few days. Once the seedling process is completed, then it starts growing into a small, again it will start to grow into a little bit high and it is going to uh, give birth to the leaf isn't it two or three leaves will be there it is going to give birth and even there will be increase in the length of the plant also or that seedling also this germination is next to process of the seedling where the after the seedling the plants uh, start growing into a small plant okay the seeds will start growing into a small plant this is called as the germination. Okay. Then uh, to see about the seed, uh, we have uh, two types of seeds here. To see the seed structure, we have two types of seeds. For example, some seeds will be like this. They will be having two same identical parts. Okay. In between of that, the plant will grow upside and it will come. So once the plant is grown, those two parts are going to separate. Okay. So, for that we call as a dicots or dicotyledons. We call them as a 
the structure of seeds we have to that is di di means two okay di koti ledons di koti ledons di koti ledons means for example uh, the gram the moong dal and the um, moong and the uh, beans and uh, uh, mage okay uh, sorry uh, groundnut these all are the till so like this if once the seed start growing it is going to separate exactly uh, in between to those two will become exactly identical parts uh, like we can see um, a groundnut groundnut seed so in between we have there and a chenna chenaka okay chenna green greens again once it starts uh, so we have sown in the soil when it starts growing so in between there the two parts of the seeds are going to separate like this or there will be a gap between them and a small plant will start growing so like this where the seeds have two identical opposite parts for them we call as a dicotyledons okay and then other than this we can see wheat and uh, rice uh, and some other seeds where they are not at all having they are not at all having two uh, any identical parts for their seeds then simple only one single seed will be there and even uh, the mustard also we can see and uh, the simple seeds will be there and they will start growing only from the between part or the whole part of the seed for that we call as a monocotyledons okay the seeds are not at all going to separate they have only one seed structure for them we call as a monocotyledons and the seeds are going to separate into two identical parts and from between part this uh, uh, the plant is going to uh, germinate for that we call as a dicotyledons okay got now the seed structure the clear structure of the seeds okay if how the seed is going to germinate we have learned this all is already okay then uh, see once the seed should be so one in the a soil and it will start germinating or seedling and germinating after it will grow into a small plant and again it is grow, grow into a bigger plant or tree like this if suppose uh, see by animals or by the human beings how we are going to uh, grow the uh, crops in the, our field we are using the seeds and with the help of machines or with the help of the labor or with the help of the human body we are going to sow the seeds in our field with the help of hands or with the help of machines other than this we can see many uh, plants have grown in the forest in other far distance area and wherever we don't don't go uh, we have not gone and we have not tried to plant any plant there but in that place also many plants have grown they have become a big tree then have you ever thought how it is possible to go seed there and to plant a, another one plant okay then next we are learning here other than a human being or some other animals we have some other modes of the seed dispersal then what is the seed dispersal or dispersion of the seed that is the transform uh, transforming the seed from one place to another place okay or moving the seed moving of a seed from one place to another place see here seeds they don't have any legs or any other um, energy within them so they can move from one place to another place isn't it it is not at all possible but when it is influenced by some other um, um, medium it is going to transfer from one place to another place so this is how the seed dispersal takes place then it is possible to uh, grow uh, any sapota tree or neem tree or some other tree in a big forest and even in a some other area where we have not planted any one of us have not planted not no one has gone there but there are then also there are many plants we can see that that is because of either any of these modes from these four modes there must be one mode has taken there to transfer the seed from one place to another place okay then the, in the seed dispersal we will learn the first one by animals the seed can 
dispersed from one place to another place with the help of animals. Of course, in the animals, even we all are human beings are coming here. Okay, then uh, human beings, we are using the machines or we are using the labors to put the plants or to plant uh, or sow the seeds. This is one example. Other than us, other animals also. There may be uh, some many animals, other, even the birds also. See, after a bird can eat any fruit and it is going to spit that seed in any place. Isn't it? So, in any place it is going to spit the seed. So, it is possible there in that particular area to grow the particular plant. If suppose the, it is with the, uh, any bird is going to spit the uh, uh, seed of a chikku or seed of a sapota. In that place, the sapota tree is going to grow. Even the gava tree is going to grow. Or other seeds, whatever fruit that uh, bird is going to eat, it will eat and it will be flying. And sometime it is going to spit the seed downside. Then in that area, it is possible to grow the seeds or to grow the same plant. Okay. So like this, the first uh, mode of dispersion of any uh, seeds is by the help of animals or the by the help of the birds. So in this human being also, other animals also and even the other birds also. Okay. So next one, by the help of water. How by the help of water the seeds are going to grow? I don't know whether you have seen or not. So we can see number of coconut trees in a seashore or bank of the river. Isn't it? Then even inside the river also, we can see many number of coconut trees. Then have you ever thought anyone have gone there and have planted the same tree there? No, it's not possible. We human beings are not at all are able to go there and plant. And even other animals are also not at all going there and planting the um, any small uh, sibling of the plant. But then how it is possible? Yes, it is possible with the help of the water. Some other seeds, seeds of many fruits or vegetables, who, which one will be a very big also and which one will be a very small also. When the flowing water will be there after once the rain, the, if the seeds are of, uh, falling down of the same plant. And if once rains, the uh, all the water is flowing in a, some particular direction. Then the seeds will flow along with the water. Wherever the force of the water will stop, those seeds will stop there only. And they will be immersed in the soil. And again, there is a possibility of growing another one plant. Okay. Other than this, the coconut will be very big, of course. But inside there will be a air. Then coconut can float on the uh, water. Then, so it will be moving through the water of the river. And in one place, it is going to stuck with the other plant or other stick of the another uh, uh, rotten any material if once it sticks for the some day again it is going to immerse in the soil and after some days it is going to grow small it will start growing it will become a seedling and the germination so like this process takes place so second step is the dispersal of the, uh, uh, the seed can be taken with the help of water also. Okay. So even you know the you can give the many examples for this water also and the animals also. Okay. So in the next uh, uh, step or next mode of the dispersion of the seed can be by wind. By wind. So with the help of wind also the seed can transfer from or move from one place to another place so there will be a very uh, lightweight seeds they even not look uh, like uh, seeds also like uh, the indian elm plant seeds or dandelion plant seeds will be there if they will be so light so that if some force of air is going to uh, pass over the plant those plants are going to lose their seeds and even those seeds, very light seeds will move along with the air. However, the, whichever the direction air will go, it is going to move. Those all seeds are going to move. If once the air is going to lose its speed, then those seeds are falling there only. 
then again it is possible of growing the new plant of a particular seed this is how the with the help of wind seed can seed can move from one place to another place then the last mode of dispersion of seed is by explosion here there is no uh, water is helping or no uh, one animal is helping or no wind is helping but then also there will be a another one plant of the same kind just uh, uh, near to the same plant or far away in the distance so it is possible we can grow uh, any peas plants here also wherever in the forest also we can see or in any uh, broad area also we can see only one or two plants will be there then how it is possible so so last is, uh, this type of uh, dispersion of seed is explosion explosion the plants like the lady finger and the peas okay after once they reach the see uh, the fruits are going to reach their maturity time they are going to exploit themselves they are going just like a balloon it is going to burst if once it burst with the because of its force it is those seeds are going to move from some move till some distance and they will fall down again with the help of the wind or water or animals it is possible to the for those seeds to move from one place to another place this is how we can see the same uh, plant can be grown in a, another place also got now so in this video al almost we have uh, learned the plant life beginning of the plant life and even about the seed and the modes of the dispersion of the seed next the further information we will discuss in the next video okay before winding up i want to give you some homework write down the examples for the modes of dispersion by animals by water by wind and the explosion so you can write five five name of the seeds or name of the plants uh, which can be transferred by the animals which can be transferred by the uh, water and the wind and the explosion okay i hope you will do this homework and in the next video we are going to continue the next bye bye